What is this? Is this... Suo? The direction, the distance we traveled, and the buildings all tell me we're at Suo. Our habaki most likely isn't working, so the city functions must be down too. It makes sense that we can't reach Haruka. I hope she's alright. Hmm... This is one of our research centers. It's half destroyed. You mean a Spring Pharmaceuticals Research Center? Yep. And there's our logo. But I don't think we had a research center in Suo. Is this really Suo? Something's not right. Oh, this terminal is still running. I'll check it out. What's that? There's something scattered on the ground over there. These are... ampules. They look just like the ones I saw on the abandoned subway. Major General Karin? Fubuki? So... cold... No... Is he dead? Major General Karin, is this the rebellion you talked about? You say you want to change the new Himuka regime. But look, you've gone and destroyed this city! Karin, is Fubuki dead because of your rebellion? <sighs> Karin, answer me! Your brother's body. Here, take it. <sighs> Kasane, so you're finally here. <sighs> What? Why now? If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Cure the metamorphosis? What do you mean? Can Naomi be saved? Save Naomi? What are you talking about? It can't be done here. This planet, no, this whole dimension is at its end. It will be consumed by the Kunad Gate. Finally, I can finally save her. What happened? That was Major General Karin's power. Skill class SS, Brain Eater. He can copy any power and make it his own. Fubuki, I'm sorry. I want to give you a proper burial, but there's something I have to take care of first. We're following him, right? Karin just used hypervelocity. He copied it from me on orders from High Command. I'm going to follow his trail. We can still catch him if we act now. It's not like you to be so dedicated. I won't let him go until he tells me why Fubuki had to die. <laughs> Let's go. I have so much I want to ask him. Let's hurry after Karin. This trail won't last long. Your power is psychokinesis, right, Kasane? Yes, it is. I just can't figure out why he ate Kasane's power. Just fine. 
Hey, wait. Someone's there. Psionics. They'll fight even while the world's ending around them. Who's that? I don't know, but it's a psionic. Let's do this. It looks like we have to fight back. <laughs> Are you... Yuito? Huh? Impossible. That voice... Are you Kasane Randall? Yuito Sumeragi? This old man? Wait. I know that sarcastic voice. Shiden Ritter? I see. You jumped from the time of the Suo incident to this time. Hmm. I think I understand what's going on. Although I can hardly believe it myself. Yuito Sumeragi. It seems that you're blind. I'm... Arashi Spring. I know your voice. All right. So will you join the group? No. I still have powers, but as you can see, I retired from the OSF. Huh. So we should be in Suo in the year 2020, but that's not the case, correct? I knew you'd have a handle on this, Arashi. This is Suo in 2070. That's impossible. You're saying we came to the future? An earthquake? The end has begun. What do you mean? How does this happen to Suo in 50 years? I want to explain it all, but there's no time. This planet will be destroyed soon. I, Yuito Sumeragi, led the world to destruction. What? What did you do? Major General Karin said something similar. So you met him. Regardless, it's all my fault. This world is about to disappear. It will be swallowed by the pseudo-black hole called the Kunad Gate that you and I created in the past. We created it? Was it those red strings? Yes. Kasana, your power isn't psychokinesis. It's just the gravikinesis, the power to create dimensions, behaved like psychokinesis. You have the power to travel through time. That's what those dreams of red strings were about. The red strings? So the phenomenon that appeared at Kunod brought us here? Everyone is gone! Uh, so, the time has come. I heard the only people who can exist beyond time and space are those who have the ability to travel through it. 
The ones you bring with you will eventually return to their former time. Like they did just now. How do you know all this? Who told you? Arahabaki told me. That's why I was waiting for you to jump to the future. Let's talk somewhere else. There's no escaping danger here, but we can at least go somewhere a little safer. Let's go to OSF headquarters. I need to talk to Yuito now. It's done. I know you're confused. Honestly, I am too. I was waiting for you to come from the past, but I still only half believed you actually would. So what happened? Fifty years ago, after the Seiron Rebellion, New Himuka became desperate to protect the integrity of the nation. They used me, Yuito Sumeragi, the hero who saved us all to distract the citizens. I didn't resist. My brother Kaito begged me to. I thought it was the only way. My father was assassinated and I was told you were the culprit. You had disappeared. I didn't know what to believe. I killed the chairman? I don't understand. I can't say for sure, as I wasn't there. But all the evidence pointed to you. I thought the fact that you disappeared meant you were guilty. Truth is that you jumped into the future. I wouldn't kill your father. Let's get back on topic. At the time you disappeared 50 years ago, the fighting between Seiron and Suo was heating up. I spent my days taking down others and fighting psionics allied with Seiron. During all that, it began to expand. Do not gate. The pseudo-black hole that you and I made. Our powers are the same. The same type of gravikinesis. So, it seems that I have the time travel power, the red strings as well. Because we had the same abilities, our powers resonated and created a gravitational anomaly. Most of it was you. I wasn't strong enough to travel through time. But what made the Kunat Gate expand? That gate is only supposed to appear at the moment of time travel, and then disappear immediately. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Is there no way to destroy it? Only if I die. If I die, the traces of my power maintaining the distortion will disappear. However, I didn't make that choice. I thought there must be some other way, and everyone persuaded me to look for one. No, that's not right. In the end, I couldn't kill myself. I was afraid to die. I struggled to find a way to live. And now the gate is so big, it won't go away even if I do die. That's why this world is dying. Everything will be swallowed by the black hole. So please, kill me, Kasane. I want you to go 50 years into the past. Before the Kunad Gate expands too large, and end the life of the false hero, Yuito Sumeragi. No, I could never. Naomi cares about you too much. 
Besides, how am I supposed to go back to the past? Red strings are triggered by swings in emotion. For example, when you are shaken by some type of emotional shock. But there's nothing to affect me right now. It's all right. I thought about that. All those years, all of it was for this moment. What is that? Other research has progressed in the last 50 years. We can now call them to us using sounds they like. We still can't make them go away, though. Others? I can't believe you do this! I'm sure I sound pretentious for assuming, but you're shocked now, aren't you? This isn't funny. Help me fight this other! I think I understand why you killed my father now. W what? Nuhimuka was researching how to change people into others. It was Nuhimuka that changed Naomi into another 50 years ago. <gasps> my father was the one directing that research. Even the hero Yuito Sumeragi knew that fact. And even knowing the cruelty of it, I eventually became chairman and I continued the research. You continued it? Many people ended up like Naomi. I continued the research on powers to find a way other than my own death that would close the gate. Yuito Sumeragi was just a mirage. A false hero who killed the world. So... What are you doing? Why do you have that knife? Forgive me, Kasane. It's up to you now. Suo, I think this is real, but is it? Kasane, there you are. Oh, I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Arashi told me everything. Get out of there and head for the hideout. Kyoka and the others are already there. Hurry! Telepathic communication from Haruka. Then this is the present? I made it back. Copy that. I'm headed to the hideout. Welcome back, Kasane. I'm glad you made it back to our time safely. Arashi had my head spinning with worry with all her wild theories. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have much information to go on, so I assume the worst. Now we can hear what Kasane experienced, rather than just my assumptions. Did anything happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Oh. So you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo-black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. It's probably created as a means to actively move through time. 
It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. So you agreed to it? No. I came back before we reached a conclusion. Hmm. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. The time travel power, the red strings, are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. I don't care about the logic of it. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? I don't know. It's not an easy decision to make. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. Let's rest a bit and think about it later. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? Yeah. That future disappeared when Kasane came back. However, Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi. But it's great that you think hard work is so noble. How rude. I just hate wasting time, and I spare no effort to avoid it. So there's no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? All right. It might be good to talk to Arashi. We all went into the future. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. But that was a future I didn't want to see. You seem pretty knowledgeable about time travel. Why is that? I was just curious, so I studied it. For example, it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time. As long as that exists, it's very likely that time travel exists too. <sighs> what an amazing power that would be. I mean, if I could control time, I could be as lazy as I wanted. <laughs> 